Hi, this is Jill from the North Woods. Hope you had a great week. This is week one of the new dose. That's 7.5 Monjero, and I lost 1.6 pounds. So it's good to see it kick up a little bit. It was actually kind of a wild week of weight loss. It dropped drastically down, like four pounds right at the beginning of the week, and then it slowly evened out. There's a famous uh, statistics. I kind of majored in statistics that said everything go towards a mean. If you have a bat baseball player who has a hot streak hitting just far better than they're usually good at, eventually they'll start to go towards the mean, which means they'll start to average out. Well, the week started out great, and then I started averaging out, but that's okay. We had a good week, and I'm looking forward to how the drug's going to work. Took shot number two of that, and while last week I didn't feel much, but I also had oral surgery last week, and so my mouth hurt. I was on medications, and so it might have been just covering it up, but today no medications. We're all done with the oral surgery part of it. Worked great. I feel good. I think we're on our way to having that big winter I'm hoping to have. I realized at some point that I never introduced myself, I guess, to you, which I'm starting to watch videos about how to have YouTube channels. This is something new for me, and we're going to talk a little bit about life as an experiment coming up. But I wanted to tell you a little bit who I was. So I'm Jill from the North Woods. I grew up with a military family. And I was on a military base. My dad had severe alcoholism. It's something that we struggled with a lot in our lives. And I felt stuck. And I knew that this was not a place that I wanted to get stuck at. So as soon as I learned, you can actually read books and learn something and get your life to be better. Finally, I wanted to tell my own story, start living on my own terms, even when I was very young. In fact, when my grandfather, who died when I was 12, somewhere when I was around 10, told me I was the only adult in the family and that I had to take care of everybody. So from a very young age, I started reading books, learning how to do things, and starting to pull my life away from something that I felt very worried about getting stuck. And I wanted to, like I said, rewrite my own story. I have a psych major. I went to college in my 20s where I didn't know what I was going to do. I didn't know where I was going to go. Was I going to marry the guy I was dating, go to graduate school? What was I going to do? And I ended up not marrying the guy. Uh, I think that was for the good in the end. And I didn't go to graduate school either. Now I look at my life and, and basically I'm starting to realize that through my 20s and 30s, I pulled my life out. I started living a successful life. And I can explain to you what worked for me, what I did, things that I tried, and then started taking small, manageable steps. And when I saw the Queen Elizabeth speech from 2018, I believe, she talked about small steps and how small steps led us to the moon and small steps led to reconciliation after World War II. And I thought, that's it. My life has been about taking small steps and succeeding. And so whether I'm talking about habits, I'm talking about how to stay on target, I have ADD, I'm all over the place sometimes a little bit. How can I make meaningful improvements? Not get to perfection, but really get towards improving my life to where now today it's pretty darn good. And I feel resilient that when bad things happen to me now, I know how to tackle them, even though I've never had that experience happen to me before. That's me. That's Jill from the Northwoods. I'm trying to help people now take their own small steps to having a happier, more successful life. So please subscribe. And just remember, I also have the podcast, Start With Small Steps, which I'm starting to create videos for while I'm recording the audio. So in some cases, when it has a number in front of it on my video channel, that means that it was also a podcast episode. Sometimes I'm just going to do videos that are for YouTube, and those won't have numbers, so I should explain that somehow. But I just wanted to tell you a little bit of who I am. This last step of me losing weight has been something that has just plagued me my whole life since I was nine years old when I first realized I was overweight. And it affected some of my goals that I've had. I probably didn't get the guys that I wanted to date. I didn't get the adventures I wanted to have. And that's why I kind of had that whole series on regrets. But now with Manjaro, I'm starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel. I'm starting to see that I might get this last major hurdle that I'm having in my life. And it's, it's exciting to me, the one thing that has plagued me my whole life. So we're doing this experiment together, and I'm just telling you how it goes each week. 
But this week, like I said, side effects came back. I was sick, a little bit nauseous for the first two, three hours, which is how it has gone for me. First few hours, I feel a little mm, sick to my stomach. And then somewhere around three hours after the shot, I start feeling better, and then the side effects have gone away. But I can tell I feel full again. I feel like all of the effects that Manjaro can have are coming back. And so I'm going to do some blood draws tomorrow and see how my blood sugar is. Actually, the exciting thing is I go back to my doctor next week. It'll be after next week's video and get labs taken right before Thanksgiving and see how, what kind of improvement I've had on my cholesterol, on my A1C, all the different measurements. So that should be exciting in about two weeks to see if that has gotten better. But one of the fundamental lessons that I learned through me struggling through life and trying to figure out what it is that I should do to pull out of my situation, and even in the weight situation, is to try to think of life as an experiment. People get very cautious. Where they don't want to change anything. They don't want to try something new. But you can go about life as an experiment. And this idea came from my friend's father, where he said, when you're looking for a new job, let's say, why don't you start calling companies and saying, hey, I'm thinking about in the next couple of years about moving on towards your kind of industry. You look like a really good company. And I was just wondering, is it possible that I could buy someone lunch there and talk about what's going on in this organization, what kind of jobs you're doing, or I'm interested in becoming a developer. Could we get together sometime and talk about that? People will help you on that. I, I mean, I know when I was in my software company, if someone had approached me with that, I would have done it. So trying these little experiments, me applying for a job I wasn't qualified for, experiment. I didn't get the job, but boy, I learned a lot because I came in number two for the job. Now with this Monjero, I have that experimental view of it again. What if we just tried? What if we just saw how it went? My friend was very well researched in this drug and she wanted to go on it. Unfortunately, well, fortunately, she doesn't have anything wrong with her so she couldn't get a prescription of it, which means that she would have to pay for it herself. Me, I had crossed over into the diabetes zone and I thought, well, what's to lose? Why not try this? I mean, my alternatives are, I guess, taking metformin was another good diabetes drug. But I didn't want to go on insulin. Insulin has so many things hanging over your head, I guess. And I didn't want to go that direction. So to me, this was a perfect chance to try an experiment and see how it works. And it's been great. For the first time in my life, have hope that I will lose the weight. Before I started taking this drug, I was eating around 15, 1,400 calories a day. I lost six pounds from October all the way to June. I started taking this drug. I lost six pounds in two weeks. And now I'm down, I guess that would be about 33 pounds. And we're, we're not stopping yet. And hopefully, by, like I said, next hiking season, I'm going to be down a total of 60 pounds. I'm going to feel good. And hopefully taking pressure off my ankles, off my knees and allowing me to have bigger adventures. Again, my friends have already said, I'm not huffing and puffing up hills like I used to. I'm hiking a lot better. I went hiking with my friend last weekend, and there was one hill that always just crushed me. I used to stop like every few feet to catch my breath. And this time, I had to stop once to catch my breath, but I thought that's a pretty good improvement. So trying experiments, not just with this, but maybe with your job. If you think that you would like to own a restaurant, maybe you want to buy a restaurant. Could you go work in a restaurant maybe during the holiday season when people are looking for help and just see if you like that kind of environment? Or maybe even if you do still like it, you'll learn tips. You'll learn what you feel really works in this other restaurant and what you would like to change. So having life as an experiment will help you to take small steps to improving your life, getting whatever goal it is you want to have. In this case with this drug, when I started not losing weight, I started doing a couple of things. I upped my exercise. I started eating a higher protein diet and getting even more away from carbs. I had already cut carbs quite a bit. Now I decided to push this threshold even more. Every carb I ate had fiber in it. And if it didn't have fiber in it, I didn't eat it. And you know what? I rung another, I don't know, three, four weeks out of my current level of Manjaro 
before I moved up in it. So just try things. There's nothing wrong with trying something as long as it's not harmful to you and not harmful to other people to try experiments in your life. Maybe you might like to go skiing in winter. Did you ever just go to a ski course and just rent some skis and try it? Maybe take a lesson in it? I was interested in log rolling of all things. I had watched people log roll. It turns out my town had log rolling classes. So you know what? I took log rolling classes. I have done a lot of experiments by just taking classes just to see if I like it, to see if this is something that's going to be for me. When I had to go, had to go to Hawaii for work, you know what I did? I took surfing lessons. I just wanted to see what it was like. I have never lived in a place, because I'm Jill in the North Woods, that had surfing. And so this was kind of exciting just to try it. But you can also do more serious things. You can try more serious things. If you feel that you're someone at work, oh, I don't know, who maybe people have the wrong impression of. Have you ever tried just changing how you hold yourself, how you talk about certain things? I worked with one guy who felt he wasn't technical enough, and he asked me if I would help him get a little bit more technical. So I reviewed everything, trying to help him push that boundary of being higher tech. Have you tried to do that? Have you tried to, to push those boundaries to see if someone might help you go to the next step? We get so stuck in ruts. I'm fat, or I'm overweight, or I'm no good at tech, or I couldn't possibly surf if I wanted to. The question is, are you willing to step out on a ledge a little bit and try life as an experiment? And even meshing that together with small steps. If you wanted to do something, I'm trying to think, like go on a 100-mile hike, don't just go on a hundred mile hike without knowing that you can't do it. You might find 50 miles in, you're really not structured to do that. But can you maybe start taking 16 mile hikes? My biggest day when I did my hundred mile hike, 16 miles. So I started trying out, can I hike 16 miles? Now my mistake was as I could hike 16 miles, but can you get up the next morning and hike 16 miles? So you have to make sure this experiment you're trying is adequate for what it is you're going to do. But start thinking about life as an experiment. Kind of structure exactly what it is you want to do and see if you start going that direction. I knew someone who wanted to be a filmmaker. He really wanted to go to Hollywood and be a filmmaker. And I said, this is what you do. You start small. You go to a nonprofit organization who couldn't have a cinematographer and film one of their events, one of their annual dinners, something like that and you get good at it, and you see if you even like this kind of thing, and you start working your way up. Maybe try a local film. Maybe then try a regional film. But if you start working your way up towards it, you can get those goals if you want to do those goals. Or maybe you'll find out it's not really what you wanted to do at all. I wanted to work for a nonprofit organization, and my first big job out of college was nonprofit, and I realized it does not mesh with my personality because I would sit there and think, well, Jill, you could go play a video game or go for a walk or do something enjoyable. You could go work overtime in your nonprofit job and save the world. And I always picked the job over me because it was always more important to work than it was to do whatever silly thing I wanted to do in my life. And at some point, I realized I had destroyed the happiness in my life. There are people who are really good at boundaries. And I found out that in this particular case, I don't have those boundaries. If it's between me and saving the world, I'm going to pick saving the world every time, even though I know you cannot work forever without burning yourself out. I decided I could just not work at a nonprofit organization. That was an experiment for me. So try it out. See where you could come up with some sort of small experiment. You don't believe that exercise will help you lose weight? Try it, but start small. If you just jump in and you decide, I'm going to just run, out of the blue, five miles, you're going to hurt yourself. But can you sort of walk run for a little bit, maybe on a treadmill or around the block? Start small and just see if you can work your way up and then see if that experiment and exercise helps you to start losing weight a little bit better. Anyway, if you want, you can always tell me what kind of experiment you tried. You can message me in the chat associated with this video, or you can email me at jill at startwithsmallsteps.com. I'd love to hear from you. Have a great week. And like I said, two weeks, we're looking forward to new lab numbers to see what happens next.